yes now listen today's today's chapter name is what books and burials tell us okay it is the chapter number 5 in your old book and chapter number 4 in new book so the first sub unit tell us that one of the oldest books in the world today we going to discuss about the oldest books and you know already that writing history uh yes page number 35 in new book binayak already written so, so all the students mute your microphone okay so in new new book it is page number 35 today we going to know about the oldest book that was written in the world and yes that is written in our indian subcontinent okay these books are called vedas so vedas here the oldest book yet uh, still discovered in the world and there are four vedas rig veda first one rig veda yajur veda sam veda and atharva veda okay so these are the four vedas and the oldest veda is rig veda so it was written around 3500 years ago so it is the oldest book the rig veda okay and the rig veda includes more than 1000 of hymns hymns means some lines okay like uh, some some words some sentences chanted in the time of yajna when they worshiped their gods and goddesses the natural powers then they chanted those hymns and the rigveda contains more than 1000 hymns and call sukta or well said okay sukta means well said so these hymns are wonderfully composed and also they had some me, uh, and they also had a tune in that particular tune they chanted all those hymns okay so these hymns are in praise of various gods on goddesses and three gods are specially important at the time in rigvedic period this is indra the god of war the agni the god of fire and soma a plant from which a special drink was prepared so they worship this gods and goddesses except this other god is also found like varuna the god of water pavan or marut the god marut is a god of wind so this in in this way we can see that the vedic people they worshiped the natural powers okay and they believed that this natural powers controlled our life okay and it was yes softora the uh, board is tilted because uh, the camera stand is little bit problematic here okay 
if you have problem then tell me i'll repeat the words written on the board okay so this is the oldest and the time period 3005 years 500 years ago this rigveda was written and this was the part and this rigveda was a, and all the four vedas are written by the people who established the civilization on the bank of river ganga and ganga valley civilizations okay after the declining of harappan civilization ganga valley civilization emerged you know already in the bank of river ganga and 3500 years ago they wrote all these books at first these books were not uh, in written form they chanted those and recite those hymns gen and to the students first the teachers or the rishis who read who uh, wrote all these compose uh, hymns they recite those in front of their students and students learn those hymns and generation after generation okay in student teacher and from uh, teacher to student and again uh, from those students when they became teacher they also delivered all those uh, hymns to their students and in this way generation after generation these hymns continues and after so many years uh, finally they composed all this in a book and in uh, they published uh, they actually give them in a written form and these books written in the language called sanskrit okay so it is the ancient one of the ancient uh, language of the world it is sanskrit so four vedas written on sanskrit these hymns were composed by the sages they are also called rishis and priests taught students to recite and memorize each syllable word sentence bit by bit with great care do you know the tanujit i cannot move the camera because uh, it is not in a proper way okay if i move the camera then uh, uh, you cannot see the board properly okay so no problem okay then students mute your microphone first okay if you have any any queries or anything to write then anything to ask then write in the chat box now listen this hymns actually composed by the sages the rishis such as the jaimini such as the bishamitra uh, such as bashishta kashyap okay varadwaj so this type of different different sages they wrote all these uh, vedas these hymns okay and priest taught students to recite and memorize each syllable word and sentences written on sanskrit bit by bit with great care and most of the hymns were composed taught and learned by men a few were composed by women also not only men few these hymns also composed by some women such as gargi maitri apala this type of some ladies also there at the time who also discussed about the philosophy of this uh, vedas and they also learned the hymns of the vedas they sometimes they uh, some hymns they also composed the rigveda is the oldest vedic uh, in rigveda is in old or vedic sanskrit it is written on uh, it was written in uh, vedic sanskrit and which is very much difficult to understand so that's why later uh, vedas was written more 
easy uh, easily okay so this was written in a easy language so the rig veda is uh, the language of rig veda is that's why different from the other vedas and also the sanskrit you have learned in uh, you in your school so, uh, in our school the sanskrit is not there but in some school they also learn sanskrit okay so that's as a third language so this sanskrit and today's sanskrit is very much different than rig vedas sanskrit okay now you have to know that the story of sanskrit sanskrit and other languages actually sanskrit is a part of family of languages known as indo european languages because in some european languages such as latin and greek so there are some similarities okay so some indian languages such as assamese gujarati hindi kashmiri sindhi bhojpuri and many european other languages such as english french german greek italian and spanish belong to the family so that's why it's called indo european language family yes binayak mahabharat and ramayan is also written in sanskrit okay no rigveda is different book and mahabharat and ramayan is a different book okay rigveda and was written 3500 years ago but mahabharat and ramayan was written much later it is just before 2000 years ago but rigveda was written 3500 years ago it is the oldest book okay and ramayana and mahabharata are called epic but rigveda is not a epic is a book full of hymns and these hymns mostly used to worship those natural goddesses such as indra soma or agni and sometimes some deep philosophical thinking okay such as what is god what is life what is human being from where did we came from all these things in in detail described in rigveda and all these yajurveda all these things okay but the language is difficult so that's why in later phases lot of uh, sages again translated these into uh, easiest languages and also they explain this uh, tough words okay those those words are very much tough to understand so explain in some other literary uh, literary text uh, text these are known as the upanishad brahman and aranyak okay so now i am telling you about the sanskrit and other languages so these languages the european languages and this uh, indian languages today very much spoken in different part of the uh, subcontinent are together called indo european language family and this and lot of words were very much common in this language such as the sanskrit word matri or uh, matra and the hindi word ma and hindian bengali the ma and english mother okay so these are very much this all these words sounds very much similar okay so that's why it uh, these these are called indo european languages okay binag mahabharata was written by vyas deva yes and valmiki it is also present in your book there is upanishad upanishad ganga there are a lot of upanishads was there okay now other languages used in the subcontinent also in the time of rigveda in southern india other languages also used they which were totally different than sanskrit such as tamil telugu kannada okay and the tibeto burman family the languages such as uh, the sikkimese the uh, language used in arunachal pradesh and uh, the other part in northwest uh, north east india these languages are in tibeto burman family uh, but the tamil telugu kannada and malayalam belong uh, to the dravidian family and the languages spoken in jharkhand and the parts of central india belong to the austroasiatic languages such as santali okay 
So Santali is belong to Austro-Austic fam language family. The uh, Arunachali, the, the tribal languages such as uh, and also the languages spoken in Meghalaya, such as Garo, Kasi, these languages. Okay. All these languages belong to Tibeto-Burman family and the uh, Burma, uh, Burmese language also. Okay. And the Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, Malayalam, they are called Dravidian. They belong to Dravidian family. So these are the four different different language group in found in India and lot of languages belong to these groups. Okay, so the, the books we use as Rig Veda, written and printed, we can uh, found these type of books in library. These books were uh, compiled after uh, so many years and the Rig Veda was recited and heard rather than read at first, I have already mentioned, and it was written down several centuries after it was first composed and printed less than 200 years ago. So finally, Rig Veda was composed uh, and printed less than 200 years ago. So I think you have understood this one. Okay. Now a small portion, I'll tell you, that is the how historians study the Rig Veda. Historians like archaeologists find out about the past from the addition to material remains and they examine written sources as well. Let us see how the, they study the Rig Veda. Some of the hymns in the Rig Veda are in the form of dialogues and this is a part of one such hymn, a dialogue between a sage named Vishamitra and two rivers. Bias and Sukluj that were worshipped as goddesses. So in this way, lot of stories contained in Rig Veda and archaeologists and historians, they find out the actual history of that period from those Vedas. So that's all from today's class. If you have any question, you can ask me. Okay, so thank you everyone. So learn this uh, first two subunits in your home, one of the oldest books in the world and how historians study the Rig Veda. So thank you everyone. See you in the next class.